The primary election just days away, and there are a long list of candidates on the ballot, especially for Missouri's next seat in the U.S. Senate. All replacing Senator Roy Blunt. But how likely is it for that Republican seat to flip? KSHB 41 News reporter Dan Cohen went to an expert to find out. With days to go until the Missouri primary, candidates are still introducing themselves to voters. I'm Lucas Kuntz. I'm a Marine veteran, 13 years, Iraq and Afghanistan. I spent my entire life serving this country. Kuntz is in a crowded Democratic field, vying for a nomination to compete for Roy Blunt's U.S. Senate seat this November. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, Kuntz told KSHB 41 his message is straightforward. And we need to have systems in place that protect everyday people and take care of them. Kuntz is considered a frontrunner, according to Dr. Matt Harris of Park University. University. will be either uh, Lucas Kuntz or, or Trudy Bush Valentine. Um, but yeah, you do a bunch of other candidates, Spencer Toder and some others, and that does kind of open things up to uncertainty. KSHB 41 reached out to Trudy Bush Valentine and Spencer Toder's campaigns for this report, but we have not heard back. Whoever wins the nomination faces an uphill climb in the general election. When we look at the statewide races in Missouri, you probably need something kind of funky to happen for the Democrat to win. Missouri was plus 15 Republican in the 2020 presidential election, but this year's primary brings new circumstances. But you've got some potential confounding factors. One, how would the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, how is that going to affect uh, turnout, registration? Missouri voters head to the polls this Tuesday to pick their nominees for one of 35 Senate races across the country this fall. In Kansas City, Dan Cohen, KSHB 41 News.